I'm Staff Sergeant Hank Curry. I'm a trombone player in the United States Army Band of Pershing Zone. I'm here today to give you a simple exercise that can help you clear up your articulation style. Now being in the military, we play a lot of marches and we need to be able to play really fast and really cleanly in order to execute these marches well. So I use a really short, simple exercise to help me work on my articulation clarity. I just use a simple set of eight sixteenth notes. It sounds a bit like this. That's it. That's the small exercise. Uh, you can use that changing in a few different ways to really help you play cleanly and more quickly all over the range of the horn and in any style that you need. Obviously, you can vary your style of articulation to suit your needs. If you want to work on your legato tonguing, you can use D syllables instead of T syllables, right? If you want to work on accents, you can, you can make them all accented or every other note accented in the series. There's a lot of different ways to alter this exercise to help you with, your, with a variety of art, you know, articulation needs. I use it mostly to increase my, uh, my clarity of articulations throughout the range of the trombone. I use it to increase my clarity of articulations while moving the slide, which might be more difficult than you might think, and, uh, and obviously just to increase the speed uh, at which I can articulate cleanly. So uh, starting with range, um, you can use this eight note pattern uh, and, you, and basically play it via every partial on the trombone. I would advise starting simple where, uh, where you feel good and, uh, and where it's easy to play. So I usually start in the middle range and uh, I like to start from success and then, and then try to pull that success into other areas of my playing that I, I feel less successful at, right? So uh, for instance, I'll start in the middle range on a middle B flat and I'll play the exercise and then I'll bump it down to F and then bump it down to the low B flat. You can reverse it and increase the uh, range at which you play uh, higher also. A, a quick tip with this is uh, when you're playing low, your tongue's not going to be hitting in your mouth quite in the same place as when you play high. When you're playing low, your tongue's going to be more forward and lower, closer to your teeth. Uh, and then when you're playing high. When you're articulating in the high range, you're going to articulate more towards the roof of your mouth, further back in your mouth. All right, the next, uh, the next way I use it is uh, to help me increase my clarity while I'm moving my slide. I like to use scales. I, I'm a huge fan of scales, uh, <laughs> a little biased on the major, but you know, you can use it with minor scales or modes, whatever you'd like best. Uh, but here's what it sounds like with a major scale. I, I take any break out of it, so I really have to move my slide quickly to the next note. Sounds a bit like this. Now obviously you can make it more difficult by using less articulations per note in the scale. You can slice it at half to four, and then in half again to two, and then ultimately, you're gonna articulate once per note. That's the hardest on your brain because the exercise goes by fast, and it's the hardest on your arm and your tongue because they have to be the quickest and most concise. <laughs> So there you go. Uh, the last way I use it is really to uh, increase the speed at which I articulate. Uh, you're you're going to need one important tool for this, uh, a metronome. It's, it's really the only way I know of to uh, consistently increase your speed easily at a market rate, at a marked rate. You can buy metronomes at uh, music stores. You can get them online. You can also download metronome apps. These all work really well and are excellent tools to help you increase your speed. Again, I would start from success, and you can just use this eight note pattern uh, 
and start from a slow speed, which is easy and clear for you to articulate, and then bump up the metronome click, maybe five clicks at a time. Keep that airstream moving. It sounds a bit like this. If it sounds good, bump up the metronome a little bit. You'll hear that you're listening the whole time while you're playing this exercise for any inconsistencies in sound and inconsistencies in feel of where your tongue is hitting and how it is hitting. You want the tongue to make the same kind of contact in the same place every time you articulate on that particular note. Obviously that's going to change depending on which range you're playing in. After you've bumped up uh, the clicker, you will finally make it to a point where you start to experience failure. And that's okay, that's good. You wanna to get to that limit every day because that's how you push that limit. That's how you extend your limits. So you wanna to get to that limit and when you get to that limit, a really great tip is to, instead of thinking about the tongue, think about your airstream. At that point, your airstream kind of becomes more important than the tongue because that's what the tongue bounces off of. Without that airstream, the tongue can get stuck at either the roof or the bottom of your mouth and you'll start to lose articulations. So when you get really fast to the point of failure, then start thinking about your airstream and feel the tongue bounce off of it. It's more of an action of blowing through, blowing through the articulations happening with the tongue. Obviously now you can, max, uh, you can mix and match all of these exercises. Uh, you can use partial breaks, you can use scales, you can use increased speed all together to create your own exercises of, however, of whatever difficulty um, level you need. Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's the one I use, that's the exercise I use to help me the most uh, with my articulations. Thanks so much for listening today. Again, this is Staff Sergeant Hank Curry from the United States Army Band, signing out.